what is going on guys it's Danny we're back with another YouTube video and today I want to talk to you guys about does trove get boring I know some of you guys might have that ask that question my bad I'm slurring my words here I'm gonna close the window because it's super cold right now and yeah some of you guys might wonder who were like play troll for like a little bit and think it's like really boring and probably wondering how is troll not boring to you it's pretty much the same thing over and over again well I got some reason for you guys one is that it's very addicting since it's a very small game it has a lot of potential to grow it's pretty much fan base if you guys didn't know all the items that troll makes are either from from fans or they make it themselves. So yeah, if you scroll over an item in the game, let's say, hold on here. If I press my thing, it look. As you can see, it says designed by Dirk Callo. This is designed by Zo. This is designed by Ixion, and yeah, and on and on. So yeah, this game is highly based on fans. So if you're if you're a fan of Trove, you can go ahead and make your your design or whatever the hell you want to do, and you guys might get entered. This is why Trove is not boring, guys. Things are new every single day, and the reason why it's not boring it's because of you, your guys' creativity, and that's the reason why Trove is not boring. Another thing is like every single day you got you have something to look forward to. You have look you get to look forward to your multiple challenges you get 24 challenges a day which if you finish them all you get four correct me if I'm wrong four knee or a moon knee dragon caches or whatever the dragon caches is you can get um, let me do the math here 24 times four I know you mathematicians out there are like crazy you get 96 caches a day if you do every hour you wake up every hour of your life or every hour yep every hour of the whole day you get 96 moon wing caches so that's, a, that's something to look forward to every single day is your daily challenges I mean if you missed it no worries you got the next hour if you missed that one you got the next hour so and so on and then also the third one is that you have to wake up every single day and play trove and then you earn cubits or, or yeah, cubits, which you guys can buy wings, guys. We can buy the wings with this credit thing, and you can buy um, or no cubits. I mean, cubits. And yeah, and you, and you get like 500 cubits per day on the weekdays, and you get 1,000 cubits on the weekends, on Sundays and Saturdays. That's another reason why Trove doesn't get boring, because you're always getting something in reward for playing the video game, guys. Another thing is um the re the updates that they do. It's like every single month, new update, new update, new update, which I like a lot since I like new things, guys. I don't want to be playing the same game over and over and over again without anything with uh, without any update. That's why some of those game games out there are doing really well because they update their contents a lot and add new things just like trope like they just added their moon wing dragon thing a couple weeks ago or like last week when i'm gonna upload this video so yeah and the other thing is um you this game is actually really fun with friends guys and, and i played with trivi matchcarp and salty gyarados if you guys don't know who they are go check out their channel but yeah, I play with th those two guys. They're, they're like clowns, basically. My closest friends are like, not my closest friends, but they're like my best friends that play games with me and stuff like that. But yeah, if you guys have a lot of friends and they're mostly gamers, go play this game. This game is super fun. And yeah, you guys can help your friends too. It seems really simple and really easy. And the last thing is, um, this game is like, I don't know, it never gets old to me for some reason. Everything seems so so fun man like it, it never stops this game never stops because once you get one character level 20 now you get the other level character level 20 and then you gotta like get level 200 mastery and stuff like that so yeah this game is a hell load of fun if you guys haven't played it yet go check out why you should play trope guys on my channel and watch this video go back and watch that video and come back and watch this video and drop a like while you're at it too and maybe subscribe and comment down below because i will respond to every single comment there 
But that should conclude today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had to record this the second time since my mic, since I kind of messed up. My mic didn't mess up at all, but I messed up. I kind of slurred so many words. I don't think you guys really enjoyed that. So, delete that and I'm recording this. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and like button down below. We only need 200, we, we're at 270 subscribers, guys. 270, 30 more away from the big 300. Not even a month in yet. So yeah, you guys are, are super amazing. Thank you guys for watching. Once again, go hit that subscribe button and like button down below and as well as the comment button because I will I will reply to everybody down in the comments below. I will try my best at least. But yeah, thank you guys for watching once again and I'll see you guys in the next episode as I fall down and not die to the wings. Peace out. What is going on guys? It's Danny. We're back with our YouTube video today. I want to show you guys how to get more storage. Oh. Oh.